I'll tell you what. Speak. Oh, you know what? Speaking of money. Yep. I just wanted to do a bit of a cap of the week. Another cap of the week <laughs> because this is just there. I just, someone did a good. Uh, you know how they do the memes where it's like you're fully a clown. We're yeah. starting to put the makeup on, and it's uh-huh. like there's no inflation. It's like okay, oh, there's inflation awesome. and there's transitory. And then the third one is like it's inflation, but it's actually good. Uh-huh. And then the fourth one is inflation's your fault. Your fault. Yeah. But this one, <laughs> this one's inflation's your fault. So it's, it's kind of that thing when we saw Noam do the interview with the Washington Post journalist. It's yeah. like these guys literally are uh, essentially they run their media company like they are a uh, the the lawyer of Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're essentially work for the Federal Reserve. They're like the propaganda arm of the Federal Reserve. Yeah, they're like literal propagandists. Yeah. And by the way, I was looking through a few um, Reddit's that talk about finances, yeah. and I'm, everyone was saying this girl, by the way, who wrote this article, they're like, oh, she's the biggest retard in finance. Like, I'm not surprised she wrote it. Yeah. Like, everyone says this girl does article after article not understanding economics. And honestly, she probably gets in terms of most clicks uh, because she gets the rage clicks. And sure. Probably, she's like a chick in finance so they get a couple uh, boxes checked there and then they, she gets the clicks, the rage clicks and they probably don't really have a good incentive to it's, it, get and, rid and, of her. And her, her, her theory, she goes, you would think that with prices as high as they are, Americans would have tempered their enthusiasm for shopping and they would have pulled back spending on luxury items. And she goes on and on but the essentially consumer spending rose 2%, uh, 0.2% and and online shopping jumped seven uh, percent or whatever. So her theory is, if inflation, if people would just stop spending, which is they're supposed to do, right? Yeah. But supply and demand curves do not have uh, morality in them, right? No. It's just people's actions that are based on a lot of things, right? Sure. But more importantly, it's like, yes, the the consumer spending is like a tiny piece of the puzzle with inflation. The money supply being the reason for this inflation. Well, there's that. Uh, well, that's majority of it's right now is the money supply oil, increase. Well, oil prices are a big one because oil is like basically the main input in the, uh, the cost of the, what do you call every, that? The yeah supply chain. Well, it's increases. just the, it's the most you know every, everything you buy has to travel a huge like. But distance also, and, if there's shrinkflation, there's going to be an increase look, in consumer sh- spending, dude. I, I but that's what I'm saying. You always say there's shrinkflation, so it's like. She goes, there's consumer spending's increased by 1%. It's like, well, right off the bat, that could be get, explained by shrinkflation. Well, yeah, you get way less. Look. So you have to food, buy more. Food is not... The cost of food, like menu items, is never coming back down. That does, that only goes in one direction. The only time I've ever even seen food prices in any material way change was the Great Financial Crisis in two thousand eight. And, well, the inflation sub- and then Subway was like, "We're doing five dollars." Well, you would need deflation. You don't have. You don't have deflation. No, you, you don't need deflation. Well, it's not. Yeah, but you, you would. Need, of course, you would. You, the only thing you have is a change in the rate of inflation. You're not going to actually have inflation well, going down. But I'm saying so. You have inflation going down, but that's the rate of inflation. For, for example, um, like you know, certain inputs went up a lot in a short period of time for food wise, and so restaurants are like, we have to increase the prices. If those food inputs come back down because those are actually commodities, oh, those you're restaurants saying on the are not changing their prices. No, no, they're just no, going they to make more money. Like McDonald's is not. Maybe they'll be like, "Hey, we're doing some promotion, and we'll have like." But a, a lot of that's people's brains too. Yeah, the brains don't change, right? So but it's, it's like, also like it is the actual yeah. like menu. Uh, you know, like the you know, like economics, like menu costs, and like you're just not printing new menus. There is that element to it, even though I'm sure like a lot of them are digital. But like they're just if these are public companies, like McDonald's is not ever decreasing the price of like a Big Mac meal. They might do a uh, special some promotion temporarily. Well, because all prices eventually go up anyway. So you go, okay, well we'll be overpriced for six months and then we'll catch up to it or whatever. Yeah, we'll grow it, into our <laughs> the Big Mac will grow into its evaluation. Yeah, m- maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but in terms of food, when they say like, "Oh, this is your fault," you're like, "No, we had to buy food. There was not an option to not buy food while we we're dealing with these like supply chain issues and all this bullshit." And the nobody's lowering, like, no restaurant in New York City is lowering their prices of drinks or whatever, like, or food. Like, it's not happening. No, that's just what it is. And you know, hopefully, they pass that on to their employees. The only stuff. way they would do that is if the demand like went down a ton. I mean, think about it. Rents are not like going up a crazy amount so essentially like no but that, if the demand goes down a ton they might yeah yeah i guess if prices demand, of things do go down prices no prices like you know tvs and a lot of items do go down i'm saying food specifically the raw goods might like you know chicken costs might change but once they're uh like you know restaurants like you, there's no way restaurants are going to be lowering their prices if the demand goes down a ton maybe it's if like let's say down, like I'm a sure. ton of people like move out of the place and then there's yeah, like, yeah, yeah like theoretically i'm, I'm talking 
thinking about it in day. practical terms. Like, if you live in New York City, you well, are no, not going to see yeah, the yeah. prices of anything going down. No, that's correct. And shrinkflation is out of fucking hand. Which uh, okay, but here I'll give you an example. A city is uh, starting to boom, and then everyone put their prices up, and then uh, the population grows. Uh, a ton more stores open. Yeah, and there's a ton more competition, and competition. Then the store is open next to you with lower prices. Like, sure. you have no choice. Sure, and the competitiveness. That is probably the way that drives prices down. But I get your point. Yeah, like, like there's no do- like dollars. Sli- there is the odd dollar slice pizza still that you actually do see. There's one there, and they are packed. There's yeah. one near here, here. They are red. Yeah, yeah. There is. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's no. Two brothers on the corner. Though that's dollar fifty. Says dollar on the sun. Yeah, because most of them haven't updated their signs yet. <laughs> no, most of the dollar slice pizzas in New York still say dollar slice, but they're dollar fifty. There's one okay. by the stand on 14th Street. One that, last cause, guy. Because it's so. Un- Unbelievable that they still even exist. Well, there's other factors too. Anyways, the, there's a million reasons why she's wrong. The yeah. other reason is you can't save cash as much, so because your cash just deflates, so it's yeah. like people spend more when they're like, you know what I mean? If they're not, they're not like sophisticated enough to like invest. They're just like, okay, my money sits in my bank account, it just disappears. Yeah. And then the other part is companies are giving out crazy amounts of credit. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like so. Uh, there's there's like so many reasons why. How the hell did this person get to be like, she's a, like she's, economic? She's essentially saying like, oh, people are going on cruises and stuff still. And you're like, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't I, affect people of like that are upper middle class as much anyway. No, it never does. And also, you know, it's you can still borrow money and that doesn't say how much people are going in debt and whatnot. And at which point, you know, we're going to reach some kind of crisis later on down the road where people are kind of like have too much debt and interest rates are too high. I mean, dude, just this is this is more of a thing for the american government i didn't realize this the american government's cost of servicing their debt i think for the first time ever higher than the military budget higher than the military that budget. that's fucking crazy that is nuts and something like 40 bag of nuts 40 percent. i think this is the number was 40 percent of all tax uh revenues in the united states now goes to interest payments they better get that fucking ai figured out pretty soon and you though, know who's I mean. getting those interest payments the <laughs> jews no um <laughs> I'm sure some people think that, but uh, no, that's crazy. That is higher than the. That's a, it sort of stressed me out to hear it. To be honest, a little bit. Yeah, you're like that cannot. So can't be good when you watch those cross on the chart. And yeah, you know, yeah, that should not be happening. And you idiots, I know this is armed. You know, t- hindsight 2020 after the fact. Be like, you could have refinanced all the debt at zero percent like three years ago. I know, and they didn't. Yeah, well. Now you're financing it at bad rates. Well, now you're just paying like the market rates or whatever, which are not good. Which are not good. No, I mean historically they're fine, but just you're, you know, the country's way worse off. It's not great. This whole thing's not great. Yeah, and I believe Trump tried to do that, and they told him to fucking take a hike. I told you, man. It's seventy year old people just fucking putting it on your tab. Asshole. Who's gonna pay it? You are my fucking stupid rube son, Danny. He'll fucking pay it <laughs> off for us. He goes. He goes. Hey, just put it on my tab. He goes. But I'll pay it off in ten years. He goes. But you're ninety five. <laughs> Am I? Am I? 